is a silvery lining on the horizon, but there is no heat in it. This is almost July now and when the thermometer reaches 16 or 17 degrees you think, ooh, it's warm today. Nevertheless, Mr. Ross Tones and I shall try to catch a biggish trout today. And I think we have a few options. These are flies Mr. Ron Childs gave to me at the petrol station. Sometimes you meet people at the petrol station and they give you flies. And I'll try one of them. The BBO with jungle cock. I'll try that today for big trout. Wow, what sort of a case is that? It looks a bit like a military radio case. Um, but yeah, I decided to put everything in one place and be nice and organized. Wow, Ross, this is very, very orderly. <laughs> it is, yeah. I'm highly impressed with that. <laughs> Doesn't mean we'll catch a fish, though. <laughs> Oh, sedges. That's that sedge that I, f I found. Um, that could work here today, you know that? Yeah, I'm thinking a, a dry sedge might be... Yeah, just see how the wind is like and if we yeah. see a rising fish or two. Yeah, and if not, probably a bibio hopper with legs. thing with oh, legs. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, yeah, sir. A bit blue sky. Then let's see if we can catch a trout on this nice lake, on this nice Donegal summer's day. Wonderful summer day. Yeah, refreshing. <laughs> so, there is a rather hefty Invicta and Mr. Ron Child's Jungle Cock Bibio. Let's see if that does the trick today. This was never an easy lake, and you never had more than one or two takes a day. What you caught, however, was not bad, between three quarters and a pound or so. In these last, let's say, ten years, I had very bad results in this loch. Therefore, I hadn't fished it in quite a while, until about three weeks ago with Werner. What I saw that day really surprised me. Big fish rising all over the place, some of them easily in the three-pound class. That's exactly the reason why Ross and I are here today, trying to catch one or two of them. That's exactly where I saw a good few last time, when I was here with Werner, just there. And that's where I hooked that one, just where you are there, just in front of you. The one that got away. I mean, if you don't touch one within the first few minutes. Today, however, though the conditions are not much different, nothing shows. The lake looks like dead again, and you wonder, was it a good decision to come here? Why is there not a single fish to be seen? Why can't we catch one? In other words, the usual things that race through an angler's mind when nothing at all happens. Well, you might think I've brought you to a lake with no fish, <laughs> just to annoy you. It's just that we can't catch them. That's we all. can't catch them, that's our problem. That looks like a good fish, and I hope, I just hope it doesn't get away like the other one I had here with Werner. bad fish, but for this lake it's actually a small one. I 
and it is on Mr. Ron Childs Jungle Cock Bibio A fish of a pound and a half A wild Donegal mountain black brown trout And I shall have it tomorrow With lots of health giving butter <laughs> Follow the sheep highway Back to the car and see if I can find Ross somewhere. I got one! Thankfully. Thankfully, yeah. And it's the sort of size we always caught here. Yeah, see. And not... It's about... It's a... Wow! That's beautiful though. What a trout. You got one as well, you said? No, no, I did. Oh, I see. Mine was like... Probably about just normal, like six or seven inches. Nothing like that. No, no, you see. Beautiful trout, though. Yeah, and that is one of the smaller ones. Wow. The ones I saw here the other day with Werner were considerably bigger. Brilliant. Well, at least it hasn't been a wasted trip. No, it's never a wasted trip. <laughs> so, that was that. Shall we off now and try if we can catch? A monstrous uh, stocky? Stocky, stocky bashing. I think that's where we should go next. Try that. So Ross, this is landing net water. I hope so. I hope so as well. <laughs> what fly are you fishing, Ross? That is like a big butcher or something. Yeah, it's like a marabou yeah, red yeah, wing, yeah, yeah, yeah. soft tackle, and then just a and silver And there are a lot gold. of sticklebacks in here, so this is probably well, this the is, answer. Well, this is why I decided to do it, because you said there was loads of sticklebacks. So, cross fingers, that's sticklebackish. Shall we give this a few more minutes and then have a look at the river? See what the salmon anglers are doing? If it's worth going there next week? Perfect fly water. So let's see if we can find the man. Supposedly down there somewhere. Look, I think one of them is Mr. Repholz. Shall we see how they got on? Yeah. If they caught plenty? I'm sure they have. <laughs> I doubt it somehow. You just said, and your man just caught one, he said. He did, I. Very good. How are things? Things are great. You stick out somehow. Why? That cap is sort of... Oh fuck, I still have the orange head on, I forgot I about thought, it. wow, <laughs> wow, it is like a film director who wants to be seen on, a, on the set a mile away. But look, they don't care. So, considering the time of year, almost July already, and the year's best trout fishing is on the way out, it looks like my next angling date will be with the Salmon River. The grill season is just about to begin, I hope at least.